sport, a part of life that ignites passion and excitement among millions who play and watch it across the globe, and something a key part of university life. Here at Exeter, we hear so much about tennis, football, rugby, basketball, badminton, squash, tennis, cricket, but there's just too much. Stop! What about the little guys? I'm Will Kelleher and I'm here to give you a fun and informative guide to the little guys that don't always take centre stage here at Exeter University. We're going to delve deep into the AU to find the hidden sporting gem and to show how fun and diverse sport is at Exeter University. So come along, we're going back to square one. Welcome along to the first episode of XTV's new show, Square One the sports show that's going back to basics. I'm here on a bitterly cold Wednesday afternoon at Ashcombe Adventure Centre where I'm going to talk to the AU's most improved club from last year, Clay Pigeon Shooting. Founded in 2008, the Exeter University Clay Pigeon Shooting Club was rebuilt in 2010 after falling into a financial state. This year the club boasts around 60 members. Sessions run every Wednesday and cost £25 for 50 clays and 50 cartridges. I went along and caught up with current club president James Gibson and new member Simon Russell. Well, I, I, it's kind of something I've always wanted to do. Um, and you know, it's something that I want to be good at. I feel like I should be good at. Um, and and I've got a lot of friends uh, that were already in the club, um, so that kind of pulled me along. But yeah, no, it's fantastic. Not so great on days like today when it's a bit chilly. I'm afraid I'm going to have to say socials. I know that's uh, probably a bit sacrilege, but uh, it's fantastic going out, especially after um, a kind of day of not hitting a lot, and just just relaxing and you know having fun. Yes, we are an AU club, but we're not going to make you see off your own puke. We're a very nice bunch of people, uh, we're very welcoming, we're very friendly, uh, we've got some great people on the club and in the committee that can help coach, um, Ed Johnson and Freddie Collins in particular. Um, and if you haven't tried it before, well, you must do, and if you have and you found that it isn't for you, I recommend trying it again. It's fantastic fun, um, it's a lovely group of people, really, I, you know, I would not have had the freshest experience I have uh, without the club. Uh, in terms of encouraging people, come along, try. You know, we're a friendly, friendly bunch of people, um, and I think you know, as soon as you, as soon as you have an afternoon, you realise how fun it is. I certainly did. This year we've done very well. Um, our ladies came third at Bucks out of 16 universities. Our men came ninth out of 17 universities that sent uh, men's teams in. Um, at St Andrews, our men's came second out of 56 teams, um, and we've just beaten Plymouth. So uh, we've had a pretty, pretty good year this year. We've got a shooting competition against Sirencester on the 27th of April. Um, we've got a shooting, another shooting competition with Oxford Brooks also at the end of April, and Bristol have got their own competition in June. We would really like to, you know, for our men's teams to be breaking into the top five, like the girls did this year. Um, we want to try and increase our membership as much as possible. Uh, this year has seen the most members join in the five years that the club has been around. And I think the other thing is just sort of trying to spread awareness throughout the university about us. Whether it's, you know, just coming on a Wednesday or going, actually going to compete or whether it's coming to some of our socials. It'd just be nice to have more people within the club to experience what we get to do. Best moment. Um, I'd say I, I, I really enjoyed um, our, our Christmas uh, social, it was good fun. Um, but I think it was a couple of weeks ago now, um, I managed to hit, hit two plays in one shot and it, it was a fantastic, fantastic moment. Um, considering that I'd never picked up a gun before, um, it was kind of the first couple of times uh, I tried it. So yeah, that was, that was a good moment. Through many different ways, um, they can either tweet us um, at EUCSC or they can email us info at exetershooting.co.uk. We also have our own Facebook page, Exeter Clay Shooting, um, or you can speak to um, the chaps up at the AU office and they'll put you in touch with us as well. Hi Will, welcome to Ashcombe. Hi James. How are you doing? Yeah, good, thanks. Good, right, I'm going to give you a bit of a safety demonstration as to how this gun works. So. 
The first thing is that whenever the gun isn't being used, the barrels always have to stay open, broken like this. Sure. It basically means that everyone around us knows that the gun's not going to go off. So, for the purpose of this, I know that this gun is safe, so I'm going to close it up and put it into the shoulder, into the soft part. Yep. Get your cheek onto the stock. Let's bring down slightly. Yep. And you want to close your left eye, and you're looking down the barrel, looking at this orange point at the end. Yep. Okay. If the clay is coming from the right, you want to pick it up. The clay where my finger is, you want to follow. And as it's traveling, you want to go ahead and fire. Sure. Okay. Um, it's trigger. Basically, never put your finger on it until you're actually ready to fire. Um, and that's about it. Any Great. questions? Cool. No, I think that's fine. Thank you very much, James. Cool. Right, we've got a little challenge for you. Right, so I've got all the kit, challenge is set up, got to hit two clays with one shot. It's going to be pretty tricky. Got three attempts to do it. Here goes, come on, got to do this. Come on, boys. Last chance. You're just a little bit too late. A little too late, okay. Yeah. Just about a tad, not very much. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh. oh, I missed it. Give you one more go. Oh. It's just not happened. It doesn't happen. Can't do it. So there you go. There was an insight into the Clay Pigeon Shooting Club. I've had a great time with the lads down at Ashcombe this afternoon. Unfortunately, I don't think I'm quite good enough to join up with their team just yet, but hopefully I can complete my challenge next time. I'm pretty tired now, and I think it's time for bed. See you next time on Square One. Lovely cushion header for Gerrard! Oh, you beauty! Aguero! Harmison has done a despair on the faces of the batsmen and joy for every England player on the field. And Liverpool have won the Champions League! This is amazing! He drops for World Cup glory!